Hello, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do these three things here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is show you how to use the email, and in that email we're going to insert a link to a video. Second thing is we'll post an announcement, and inside of that announcement we'll have a picture linked to a video. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is we'll create a few things in the notes from instructor section and we'll have a picture link to W3 Schools and Notepad++ since those are used in the courses that I'll be teaching. I'll attach a PDF and I'll embed a video from YouTube. So let's do the email first. We're just going to insert a link to the video. Now I'll probably be referring to this just so I don't <laughs> forget everything I'm doing here. So go to course menu, come down here to send email. Uh, and this will bring up a little window where we figure out what we want to do. So first thing we got to do is figure out who we're going to send this to. So we can click on to. It can be everybody in the class. That's teachers and students. Or you can just send it to the teachers. I don't know if that will be that useful to us because I think we're going to be the only teachers in the class. But I may be wrong on that. Or we can send it to just all the students and exclude all of the, the graders and teachers. So for this I'm just going to do everybody in the class. Now if I wanted to, I could come down here and if, if these if emails were attached to these students, I could check them individually, or if I just wanted to send something to Aaron, I'd just check Aaron and so forth. And then there's roles, which my guess here are they're just groups. Uh, so if I check teachers, it would send an email to all the teachers. But again, I think well, you know, it'll just be me and the students, so I don't know how much we would use this with the online courses. So anyways, we'll do everybody in the class. So I'll hit OK there. So there's the group, so everybody in the class, I'll send a copy to me just so I can make sure that it gets sent out and I can take a look at what it looks like there. Uh, subject will be check out this video. Okay, so I can get hey students. Found this video, that would be very helpful to you guys. Check it out here. Okay, so I'm gonna link this. Now this is the video I'm gonna I'm gonna send them to. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab the link here, copy it, Control C, and it looks like this wanted to freeze on me. Maybe. Nope, we're good. All right, so. I will select what I want to be the link, so it'll be here. I'll click on the link button, throw in the the YouTube link. Now I think it's really important that you always pick open a new window, because if you don't do that, then when they click on the link, it'll open up in this tab and then they'll lose the course, which <laughs> you don't want to happen. This is good for announcements or links that they're going to be accessing inside of the course. Um, for emails, probably not a huge deal because it'll open in a new window anyways. But it's just, I think, a good habit to get into. Most of this stuff, JavaScript pop-ups and things, we don't really need to worry about. Uh, all we really need to say is where it's going to go and make sure it opens in a new window. So I'll hit enter. There it is. And that's about it for the email. Then you just hit send. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not awesome enough to do that, so we'll just hit OK. But that's how you do the emails and how you put in a link. I would like it, though, if possible, for any of you listening out there, if we could insert pictures, that would be really nice. If we have an insert picture button, or we ha if we had an HTML button that we could click on and get into the background. That may be disabled for some reason, I don't know why, but I think it'd be really nice to be able to insert pictures into emails as well. So. If that's possible, great. If not, eh, I never said it, right? <laughs> so I'll hit cancel. All right, so now we're going to post an announcement. We'll insert a picture linked to a video here. So, so announcements, you're going to come over to course menu, come down here to announcements. Now these are going to be seen when the student logs in. Uh, they're going to be seen, let me open up mine here. From what I understand, that when I post an announcement in here, it'll show up in the student's dashboard here, is what I'm guessing. Pretty sure I'm right, I hope. All right, so I'm going to click on New Announcement. The recipients, or I can click on that and just pick who's going who's gonna to receive it. It's going to be the students. OK. 
Okay. Or you can again just kind of pick whoever you want uh, to pick this. So yeah, I'll just say students here. Start date. So you can have an announcement actually expiring and go away, which which is good. Um, so I'll have mine expire in what is that about a week? That's fine. Or if I wanted to, I could display indefinitely, so it just stays there forever. So I'll have it expire because it'll. Let's just say it'll be for the week. Uh, so again, check out this video. Now there's a couple of ways that you can uh, insert video or pictures. So I'll say I found this video on HTML5, which would be very helpful. Take a gander. So because I don't have the ability to embed videos here, I'm going to make it obvious though that it's a video. And, and one of the ways I'm going to do that is I'm going to come over here. This is the video I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to hit start in here and I'm going to go to my snipping tool. This is something that I do a lot. So I hit start, type in snip, okay, and then there's the snipping tool and I just opened it up. And so I'm going to hit new and I'm going to take a picture of this video here. So this is just like a screenshot. And then I'm going to save it. Now I got a, a BYU folder on my desktop here, so I'm going to go BYU course, and I'll just call this like video. It'll be a PNG. So I hit save, and now I can come over to this really cool f service that I like. If you need to host a picture really quickly, uh, so you can then reference it and put it on these type of learning management systems, go to dump your photo. I'm going to hit upload a photo go into that folder here and then there it is that's what I just saved off of my my snipping tool here it uploads it and then it'll give you a, a direct link to the picture so I can come over here to share and I'm gonna want this one the HTML image I'm gonna copy all of this control C I'm gonna open up a new tab and throw it in there and this is the direct link to the picture so I'm just gonna copy that so control C and then I'll come back to my announcements. So now I can come into the insert uh, picture button and then the image URL is just the dump your photo uh, URL that it gave me the image description I'll just call it HTML5 video. Uh, appearance I don't want it to be that big so I'm going to make sure constraint proportion still checked and I'm going to hit 300 and then that'll automatically constrain it so it's still kind of a good square shape alignment I don't really care about that advanced no I don't really need any of that so basically I'm good there so I'll hit insert and then this is what it looks like so I can actually probably should say click on the, the picture so take a gander by clicking on the picture below okay so now I can click on the picture that it's selected and then I can tell it to be a link so I'm going to go and grab this link again. I'm going to copy it. So I select the photo, hit link, paste it in there. And again, we want it to open up and do a new window. And then we'll hit insert. So now hopefully, and you know, you know it works because if you click on the picture, uh, the link button and the image button are both kind of grayed out, blued out you know they both look like they've been pressed down so you know that it's now working and so if I click on it and I click on the link button again it'll show me what it's going to link to so and then I can hit update if I want but I don't need to because it already is doing what I want so I hope this helps please contact me if you have any questions at I have no idea what my email is going to be but I'll pretend it's this Oh, and I could make that a link too. So just hit there. I'm thinking if you just do a mail to. Sorry, <laughs> I'm used to typing WG there. Uh, so I think if you just do that, like a mail to, it should be when you click on that, it'll open up your default email and, and then it'll be easier to email people that way. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to test this because I don't know if I will even be able to post this announcement. But 
anyways, that's just a little way I would do things uh, in the announcements. And of course, you can bold, italicize, underline, all of these things, put in equations. I guess this would be more for math people. Math. Ooh. <laughs> anyways, so there's the announcements. Uh, I put in a picture, linked it to a video, and then the good thing about these pictures is they know for a fact it's it's a it's a video because it's a picture of a video, and it's really hard for them to miss this. Like links, you can miss if you're not paying attention but these pictures are just in your face so you obviously know that's gonna be a video if you click on it alright so now we'll head over to notes for instructor yep I'll get out of there click here go to course view so it looks like every week you have no notes for instructors which I think is great it's a good way to communicate with your students so week one, week two has them. So I'll just go to week one. Click on notes from instructor. We'll hit edit. So I'll say welcome to week one. We will be talking about HTML, the language used to build websites. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, I'll just, I don't know, to start out, watch this video. Now, I really like this because you can actually embed videos here, which which is good. Uh, so, I'm going to come back here to this video. Now, YouTube has a specific uh, URL that you have to use to be able to embed videos, and it's not this one. So, you got to come down to share, and then you're going to go to embed, and you need to use this one because you can see it's youtube.com slash embed so it's telling YouTube it's going to be an embeddable video so that's what I want to grab right there control C and so if I come back here I can now use the, the embeddable media button which I like a lot and the type is going to be an iframe and it's going to embed this and I'll throw it in there I pasted it in there so there we go and then we can tell it how big we want it to be that's I think a good size uh, the rest of this, and there's the source, so that I like that too. You can go in there and mess with the code if you want. So I'll sit it, hit insert, and then there it is. So once I post it and the note gets there, it should be embedded, which, which is nice. Okay, let's see. Another helpful website you can use is uh, W3Schools. I like this website a lot. This is basically where I learned HTML. Alright, so to link this, I want to just grab their logo. So I'm going to go W3, I'm just going to Google this, W3 Schools logo. I'll head over to Images. And I'll just grab this. I like this one. So I'll click on it. I'm going to right click and do Copy Image URL. And that's going to give me, if I opened up a new tab and pasted it, that's going to give me the direct link to that picture. So I'm going to come over here. I'll say click below to access the site. And then I'll insert a picture. So image URL, just throw it in there. Uh, image description, we'll just say W3Schools. The description should be basically for screen readers, students with... Uh, uh, seeing disabilities that are using screen readers to go through. When the screen reader will go to a picture like this, it'll see if there's a description, and if there is, it'll read it out for the student. So it just makes your, your images and such a little more accessible. Okay, so I'm going to hit insert. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing that we did before. So I'm going to grab the W3Schools link, Control C to copy that. I'm going to click on the picture, and then we're going to click on the link button. And we'll throw it in there. We're going to open it in a new window. And then hit insert. So again, we know it worked because this is blue and that's blue. Oh no, I hit enter and got rid of it. Ah, control Z is my friend. So I just undid that. Control Z a couple times and yep, it's still good. Awesome. And to code your website, you'll need notepad plus plus it's a free HTML editor 
for PCs. Put the image below to download it. So we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just go notepad plus plus logo. Um, I like this little gecko guy. He's pretty cool. Uh, we'll just grab this one. So right click, copy image URL. Just I usually open up a new tab just to make sure that we, we got it correctly. So that looks good. Hopefully it'll work. We'll see. So again, we'll hit an image. Image URL, preview, sweet, it worked. So now we'll say notepad plus plus logo in the description. Insert. There it is. Click on it. We gotta head over to the website. So we'll Google that. Actually, we'll probably go to the download page just to make it easier so that they don't have to find it. They just go straight to the download page. Uh, I don't know though. It says version 6. So when there's a new version, it might not work anymore. So to be honest, yeah, I'll probably just take them to the home page here. So it's selected. Click on the link. Throw it in there. Open in a new window. Now I realize I'm kind of going fast. I would not be going this fast on student videos. This would this is more because I'm showing you guys that I know how to do this. Um, so that's why I'm going kind of quick. But anyway, so there you would go. Uh, I don't know if this is going to let me post it. Probably not. Uh, but another cool thing that I liked over here is you can choose how this is. Uh, done as complete like I I don't know if viewing it for a specific time means that they did it so to be honest I would probably do marks the activity complete I want them to make mark it complete when they know they finished it so that's probably what I would do there uh, and then I like this too that if I accidentally put it in the wrong week I can just put it in wherever I want this notes from instructor to go I like that a lot Oh, and the last thing I wanted to do is add an attachment here. I found a, a PDF on an HTML tutorial, so I would use that. So I downloaded that into my BYU folder. So I'll go up with File, choose File. Uh, there it is, HTML tutorial. So, um, hit OK. It's uploading over there. We're at about 60%, 70, 80, 90. Go. Woo. All right, so there it is. So a bunch, I like this a lot. Like, it's just a lot of cool things you can do. Um, I really like the this as well, how you can embed videos and such. So, anyways, cool. So I do that. Got everything how I want it. I hit done. I don't know what it's going to do. All right, there we go. Sweet. It actually let me do it. I, I like that. So there's the video that's embedded. Got the link. Takes me to W3Schools. And this is where it would be really important that you do the, the open in new window. Because if not, you'd click on that and then it would load in this tab and you'd lose the course, which you, you don't want. So Notepad++ working. And then there's the PDF prompts me to download it great so anyways i hope this proved my competence <laughs> thanks guys for watching and we'll see you